All right, guys, I am back, Millennial Collector, because I had such interest in my video from last week where I weighed packs from this booster box, uh, booster box from Darkness Ablaze. And it really seemed to me like you can weigh it. Not to know if there's an ultra rare or something like that, but you can know if there's a hollow or above in it. So this is the same booster box. I had opened 11 packs, and I believe it was the anything that was 11 point, uh, sorry, 11, 22.47 uh, and lighter had nothing in it. And anything that was 22.49 and heavier had a hollow in it. Um, and now that's a small sample size of 11 packs. And my theory is because I actually did weigh some from a blister pack that I had and it weighed heavier and there was no hollow in it. And that I believe is because it was from a different print run, um, you know, different sheet, whatever the case may be. So I just have a feeling that if it comes from the same box, um, you can weigh it, but we're gonna find out today. I'm gonna do some more. I opened up 11, which is kind of a weird odd number. I only planned to open nine, opened up two more, should have opened up three more. But it ended on a gold reel of boom, spoiler alert. So in the in the eye above, go check that video out. I am going to do 13 packs today. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So that should leave me with nine packs. One, two, three, Oh, 12, sorry, 12. So that that means I've done kind of a third, uh, two thirds of the box. So I don't, I don't want it to be too long uh, because, you know, our time is precious. So I'm gonna point this down here, hopefully, and we're gonna be able to see as I weigh them here. All right. Okay, so we're going to weigh them now and curious. And what I'm gonna do, so 22.42, I would suspect that is going to be a light pack. But what I'm gonna do in this video, instead of going kind of lightest to heaviest, I'm actually going to kind of do one heavy, one light, one heavy, one light, just to see and mix it up. So 22.49, that's right on the line. Um, but I think that should be a hollow. The gold Rillaboom did have a, um, uh, did have, uh, it wasn't a 22.50 pack, which was kind of interesting. So 22. Point three nine. That one kind of moved around a little bit, but that is a pretty light pack. So I'm hoping that we see some uh, heavier ones. I did find that um, uh, the ones that had like the Grim Snarl uh, V card and had the Rillaboom, they weren't the heaviest of packs. They were kind of the middle of the range, which is kind of interesting. So um, the theory is that the gold, sorry, the gold, the green code card is supposed to weigh heavier than the white one and that offsets the um you know the hollow weight or the you know ultra rare weight so according to this so far these are a lot of light packs so again i'm, I'm hoping that i'm wrong because obviously i did it. it was a small sample size and that's why i wanted to continue in the same booster box um, i really wanted to see if there is a correlation um, specifically out of the same booster box so that's the same weight there all right, let's see some heavier ones here. 22.47, yeah, it's still pretty light. So, and again, this is not necessarily the most high tech of, uh, what's the word I'm looking for, scales. So, yeah, these are all uh, these are all pretty light. So either the scale is off compared to what it was before, or uh, we actually do have a lot of light packs or there is no correlation. So I'm gonna just click that. See if that makes a difference. Okay, there we go. There's a there's a heavier one, just because I do want to see that range. That's kind of the important thing to me, is to see some like it showed in the last video. So, anyways, if you have not seen me before, I'm the Millennial Collector. I am your average millennial that likes collecting. Very clever, right? Um, I am into Pokemon cards. There's a heavy pack. I am into sports cars. I'm doing all the things that I used to do when I was younger and then grew up and had a whole bunch of responsibilities and priorities change. So I now am at a place in life where um, we can afford and this is kind of a fun hobby. So, all right, there is everything. If you have, uh, if, if I'm not at 500 subscribers right now, I am giving away, just so you know, 
um, as I adjust my camera here, I'm giving away this Magneton PSA graded seven card. Um, 21 year old card, hashtag MC500 down in the comments. When I get to 500, I'm gonna do, do a drawing and there's also a, a link in the description below that will give you some more information on ways to earn more entries. So I'm gonna open up, we're gonna start with a heavier kind of a heavy-ish one, 22.49. So this is, uh, was a hollow in the last opening that I did. So I'm curious to see if we have a hollow in this one as well, or will that kind of disprove the theory right away? So I normally will hide the code color, but look at there, there's a green code card. So that's good and bad news. Uh, good news in that maybe, maybe it was just coincidence in the last video, um, but we'll see. Rose Bowl, we've got, uh, this is George Costanza, Lunatone, Larvitar, Golette, Feebas, Purloin, Hip Hop Anonymous, Doug Trio Reverse Hollow, and a Melmetal. So, all right, well, that's that's good news there. So now I'm gonna do the lightest one. So the 22.36. I would just be very, and you know what? While, while I'm, I'm just gonna do one quick weigh on this again. I really just wanna make sure that it is in that same realm. 22.3. So yeah, it's it's really where we had waited the first time. Just want to make sure that I didn't make a mistake or that you know the 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 thing in the jiggy wasn't weighed properly or calibrated properly. So it is green code card. So there we go. So interesting to see that the 49 did not have a hollow in it. So we've got the Eiffel Tower, Simisir, Laron, Morlal, Toxel, Skitty, Rowlet. Wishy Washy, Reverse Hollow Purloin, and a Galarian Dormanitan. I think I do need that one. So, all right, now I'm going to go to the 22.47. So, this is, um, I'm going to weigh it one more time to make sure. We are 22.49, it shows now. So, we are in the range of that could be potentially a hollow, um, and it's not. So, there you go. We have got a whole sorts of green code cards in this batch. So that's great. That's great. All the hollows uh, were in the first four, um, which is okay. The, this is this is science, right? I mean, as everybody knows, I just do this for science, not to feed my Pokemon addiction or anything like that, right? Purloin. We've got Starly, Reverse Hollow, Centret, and a Dracozolt. That is a pretty cool card. All right. So let's go down to a low one again. We got twenty-two. Let's do the lowest one. 22.37. This will for sure be a green code card, but if it's not, that's good news because I would feel a lot better that it cannot be weighed. Give me some good news. There is the code card and hey, all right. It is a white code card and oh, it's too bad. I should have weighed that one again before. So that's good news. So that is one of the lightest packs. That was 22.37. So I... I'm thinking that my theory might have been wrong. I didn't open up enough packs. So let's see what we've got in this pack. Lunatone, Struggle Gloves, Electric, Fletchling, Galarian Mr. Mime, Torchic, A. Aaron, Lipard, and A. Oh, right. There we go. So from a really light pack is a trainer. That's pretty cool. We've got Rose. Rosé, very cool. It's not obviously Rosé because there's no accent aigu over the E, but still, or an accent grab. I think it's an accent aigu. Um, but nonetheless, what a beautiful card. I am very happy for a couple reasons. I pulled a Rose and also that it does seem like these packs cannot be weighed. So I am very, very pleased with that. I would like to see it happen again and I want to reweigh the pack one more time. So. I'm gonna do a 22.38. So this is another super light pack. I, I know you can't see the scale, um, but you're gonna you're gonna trust me here. 22.38. So yeah, it's it's still the same. So I do want to see if we can get another white code card. If we do, then the packs cannot be weighed. And I am a happy camper. There is the code card and white code card. All right. So the Pokemon Company. In my last video then, it was just coincidence that it happened to work out that way. I would say they cannot be weighed. So I take back everything I said, they cannot be weighed. Buy packs as you wish. <laughs> That's great news, excellent.
Carnivine, we've got Big Parasol, Piers, Meltan, Bunnelby, Paris, Larvitar, Golette, a Reverse Hollow, Shunuptic, and... All right, Santa Scorch V, full art. That's excellent. This box has actually been really good so far. I've, I've pulled the Gold Rillaboom. I pulled that full art Rose. I've got a couple V cards. We've got a full art Santa Scorch now. I still have not pulled any Charizards though. So um, now I'm gonna go to the heaviest pack. I'm gonna go to the 22.55. Um, I would like to see, I guess, a green code card in here. I, I don't imagine there will be, but again, hey. I'm thinking there's probably just going to be a hollow, not not a not a different hollow, uh, like a full art or something like that. Yep. Yeah, so there's a white code card. All right. So it's interesting. There is definitely definitely a range of weights in uh, uh, in these boxes. So that's that's good news. That's a good sign. So Flaffy, Carnivine, Cape of Toughness, Ducklet, Marip, Paris, Gothita. Skarmory, we've got a reverse rare Hydragodon, something like that, and okay, there's a V. There we go, another one, Galarian Stunkfist V. So it is really interesting to see the variety of uh, cards that are coming out um, at different weights. So uh, I guess, yeah, the Pokemon Company has done a very good job at making these not weighable. So fooled me on the first pack. Now we're gonna go to. 22.39 and do just a quick weigh on that. Make sure that it is 22.39 and it is 22.40. So we're in that ballpark. So we've actually been on a bit of a streak of, uh, of white code cards here. So maybe that'll continue. That would be kind of interesting. So we've got a green. So muy, not muy bueno. The opposite of muy bueno. <laughs> um, we've got... Combuskin, Puppetar, Out of Focus, Corpusquire, Rookadi, Wishy Washy, Pan Sage, Tauros, Digla Dig. We've got a Reverse, a Selgor, and a Galarian Mr. Rhyme. I believe I need that one, so that's not too bad. Can't complain there. Let's do a middle of the road one here. So we've got a 22.41. I'm going to give that away. So 22.41, so there we go. So we have pulled uh, mostly green code cards from this. Aha, and a white. So it is a range. It was just pure coincidence in my first video. And that's the problem with doing a small sample size. And even even for the number of pack, packs I've opened now, it is a small number of, of uh, packs. So you really do need to open up probably more to always be sure. I mean, that's just good science is observation it is all those wonderful things that we learned in school that we've got to do to make good science um all right toxapec we've got big parasol chinooptic something bon sui snubble meltan can we get up charizard please i need i needs it reverse hollow cub chew and a corviknight holographic so i mean it's it's, it's holographic so Let's go for the heavy one here. Let's do the 22.52. Everything that I've pretty much opened that has been a heavier pack has generally been um, a white code card. So I would love to see one that was not a white code card, even though I really just do want white code cards. So, and we've got a green code card. That's so funny that the, that the first video, it was just coincidence that I happened to pull all of those cards, so. I thought there was a uncut corner. It was kind of pointy. Um, powerful energy, soul rock, steeny, cub chew. We've got a Wimpod, Bunnelby, Toxel, Sinisty, Vanillite. Get it back in the center, and a Thievel. Pull the Thievel a lot. All right, twenty-two point four zero. I'm gonna do a quick check. I think we uh, can all agree at this point that these can't be weighed. So I take back everything I said in those previous videos. But let's see, we got, it looks like a white code card. So that is good news. For the next code card, I will give you the code, but I am gonna save, or I'm gonna give you the color of it, but I'm gonna save the code 
for my Instagram followers and my Facebook followers. Yes, I have Facebook. Um, check me out, millennial.collector. All right, so I um, I know I pulled a gold card, but I would love to pull a rainbow rare in this box as well. I know you can. You're not guaranteed at that point, but Relicanth and a Heatran. I think I have that one as well. So, all right, 22.39. Let's see if that's what it weighs. Yep, 22.40, so we're in the same ballpark. That's the problem with these scales is they are, you know, they are... I'm going to see. Yeah, it's a white code card, so I'm going to save that one for said Instagram and Facebook followers. If you are not a follower of me on those social media platforms, definitely go check me out. If you are not a subscriber uh, on my YouTube channel here, please consider subscribing if you like the content. Uh, George Costanza, Marini, Torchic, Starly, Skarmory, we've got a Pan Sage, Reverse Hollow Flygon, that's pretty cool, and... A Arctazolt holographic. Okay. We're getting closer on completing uh, Darkness of Blaze. I haven't actually opened up that much of it. It's 22.42, which I can confirm. Um, uh, so I am missing a lot still from the set. There is a green code card. Ooh. Let's open that up. Give you that code card. Um, has anyone, did anyone hear about that uh, pack where somebody pulled a apparent, uh, it was, I don't know if it was put in on purpose or if it was kind of like a, you know, mistake on, on the Pokemon company's part, but a, apparently a 25th anniversary card from McDonald's somehow slipped into a Darkness of Blaze pack. If you have not checked it out, there's an actual post and you can see a picture of it um on uh on pokey beach they were the first ones i believe that mentioned it pokeybeach.com so definitely go check that out dunsparce and a escavalier all right last pack we've got 22.44 so this is kind of moderately that's not that's not what the weight is there we go yeah so i mean we'll see maybe we could get a white code card it'd be nice to finish on a high note and we are not that is too bad. But we're gonna finish it after this pack anyways. So, let's see, can we just rip through this last one here nice and quick. But I do appreciate you guys watching. Please consider subscribing. If you have not, give somebody a compliment today. Give someone a high five. Give them a hug if it's safe in your, in your, in your family or something. So, thanks for watching guys. We'll see you next time. See you next time. I said see you next time a lot, so maybe like, have a good day.